mean, I was really into superheroes and, and power, powerful images and powerful women and powerful men as well. But um, I think uh, strong women, I guess because my mom raised me as a single mother, I somehow I was drawn to because uh, as a kid I really idolized her and uh, everything she tried to do, you know? So always working, always, you know, it, it just, it made me drawn to strong women, I, I, I think. So yeah, I, I, I love, I love superheroes and the X-Men, uh, the Avengers, Fantastic Four, Six Million Dollar Man, Charlie's Angels, you know, I loved all that stuff. James Bond, I, I just, I really, uh, Wonder Woman, I can't even believe that one was last, but I guess to save the one for last. I mean, I was really into superheroes and, and power, powerful images and powerful women. And well, um, I left home at 18, as uh, soon as I was legally able to. <laughs> and uh, I sort of wound up at the boy bar um, I had been there before I turned 18, but I, I, you know, coming of age, I, I, uh, I, I wound up there and I, I, I wound up on stage. I started doing drag, Mona Foot, and I realized that I had arrived once I was welcomed into, I guess at the time, what, what was a, the cream of the crop in the performance uh, world in the East Village, and uh, and I I was I became one of them, you know, and I I guess once uh, that happened, I realized I was I had arrived, as if you will, you know. Um, for me, I think Sylvester is really super important. Uh, I don't know that how many young people really know about his contribution but I do and I knew it I knew it when I was in high school um, I mean he was RuPaul before RuPaul you know what I mean he was one of the first gender bending rock stars uh, uh, ever <laughs> really I mean I mean I guess there was little Richard too but uh, he his talent was undeniable he's just it's the strength of his his voice and um, the soul and his spirit was just really strong and the balls to do what he did at that time was kind of unheard of you know it, and in such a visible way it it was it was inspiring to 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 see it and uh i was sorry to see him die i mean you know he was he was a, a great artist and a great loss to our community grace jones as i said uh just, I mean, what can you say about her? I, I've seen her perform so many times, and uh, I know every practically every song she's ever recorded. I have dressed up as her. I live for this woman. I mean, just a, again, a gender bender. I mean, I guess she's she's a straight woman, but like the the uh, androgynous look. I remember the first time I was walking through Brooklyn with my mom and we saw this record store in downtown Brooklyn and I saw the nightclubbing cover and I was like, mommy, mommy, what, who, what is that? She, and she told me and I was just, I never forgot her and I, I researched her as you used to do back then. I don't know if kids do that now, but I got all the records. I learned everything about her and you know, I worshiped her. For me, Terry Mugler, Thierry Mugler, uh, is, was, and I guess to this day still is a great influence to me. Uh, I, I got to meet him a bunch of times and uh, just the, his uh, aesthetic is just so powerful and I guess it lends itself to my uh, be, me being inspired by superheroes because that's a co sort of the same sort of space age superhero, strong woman or man kind of aesthetic. And I really, larger than life also, I really uh, was drawn to him and his photography and um, 
the showmanship, the, the shows were just so theatrical, you know? So uh, I, I was really drawn to him. Movies, Sunset Boulevard. I love that movie. I recently watched it again for uh, 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 the umpteenth time. Uh, what a masterpiece. Uh, so many great lines. Every gay kid, every kid should see this film. William Holden, Holden is so sexy in this movie and uh, Gloria Swanson is, uh, it's, it's the performance of a lifetime. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. You just watch it over and over and over again. And it's, it's dark, but it's also funny. And uh, her performance is pretty great. It's, it's worth seeing a thousand times. Paris is burning. I think the kids are pretty aware of that one though. They're not, they're not aware of it? God, that's the movie that keeps on giving, man. It's like, I, I could watch it right now and I know that I would find something new in it. And it's some new thing that I'd start saying as my new catchphrase. You know, it's, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. It's, it's amazing. I, I think uh, I think if he were still alive, uh, I would suggest Quentin Crisp. I would have loved to have interviewed him myself. Um, I used to see him around the East Village and I never had the balls to go up to him and talk to him. He is someone that you should, if he were alive, I, you should interview. He's, he had a lot to say, he was a great, performer, actor, activist, author, and just a really important part of gay history that um, I wish I could have sat down with him and, and interviewed him myself. Sound of Music spun my little head around as a kid because I got in free because I went with my aunt who's a nun. So, the, oh, you get in free. That addicted me to the comp lifestyle. Beyond that, I worship the movie. It has everything. Nuns, Nazis, little kids, puppet shows. It's so adorable. <laughs>